Here we are um, back in Illustrator for the second video. Uh, I might break this up into two videos. I, I like to try to keep them shorter. One, they load faster and you know, the, the whole deal, right? Streaming the videos. Uh, all right, so these are those mesh gradient things using the mesh tool that I made last time. All right, so now we're gonna say, well, what could we do with this? Well, come on, it's Mr. Rady here. What have we been focused on for like months here? We can make fruit. We can make fruit with these. Sure, why not? Um, we're all going to make an apple. Are you kidding me, Mr. Rady? What is it with you and fruit? Uh, not anything really, except that it's just easy to work with. Uh, it's an easy thing uh, for us to learn on. Okay, and so that's where I'm going to do it. It's already almost a circle, right? It's already, it's got the shapes. It's a simple form. We could do this with a self-portrait, okay? Uh, it would take about 14 videos and probably for you to spend every day on it from now until all summer long, okay? Uh, you could do that, but just that would be uh, extra credit free choice project or something, okay? Um, here we are. I have this layer locked behind there, my fruit layer, and a layer on top. You should be able to know how to make layers in Illustrator. You, this shouldn't all be new information to you. This stuff you should all be able to know how to do. The only new stuff should really be the, um, the mesh mesh tool all right I'm gonna make my circle I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than that uh, I actually don't even care if it's yellow um, I can't remember if it if when I hit the mesh tool if it automatically goes to white or not but let's just we'll just make it clear that way I can kind of see what's going on with it uh, so that's pretty that's pretty good I mean if I wanted to I could actually make it more of an oval I could bring these sides in and try to make it fit that shape a little bit more we're gonna do that later, so let's just leave it as a circle. I don't care about the stem, and I don't care about the leaf. Those are gonna be two other shapes, okay? So in the end, we'll have three shapes. Right now, I'm just interested in the major red area of this apple. Mesh tool, and let's just start adding some uh, lines on there. Oops. Yeah, sometimes it goes the other direction when you don't want it to. Um, but that's okay. You're gonna need them. In, in right now, it doesn't really even matter how many you put on. Well, we'll just when it wants to be stubborn, I'm gonna let it do it. I'm just gonna put some in here. I'm gonna put another one in that way. And uh, let's start with that. And I think can I empty it? I can't. I cannot empty it of color. Um, so now I'm gonna go here. And um, I'm going to, we really can't make it empty. No. Huh. All right. Um, maybe then I'll bring my apple on top. There we go. And um, I'll put the apple on top so I can see it on there. But I can see my mesh under there and I can adjust the shape. And that's what I want. So see how I move the layers? I just put the layer, that apple on top. It's locked because I don't want to touch it. I only want to deal with my mesh tool. And so now what I can do is I can kind of move these around and I'm going to just kind of kind of make my apple shape. It's okay if it's um, if it's a little bit on the outside there. Oops. There are handlebars and all that. Don't go don't go too crazy, all right, on the shape right from the beginning. Let's just, you know, we can we can adjust some of that later. It's more important that we learn what we're going to do with this thing. So I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of form fitting it to that. And if the, if it's wavy like that, the apple really isn't wavy like that. It's really smoother, right? So I'm just kind of, I'm going to adjust it to try to follow the shape of the apple, if that makes sense. So I'm just kind of adjusting this shape before I add any color, right? I'm doing this. Okay. There, grab that. There we go. Okay. Grab that down. Bring that down a little bit. So we're just kind of following the shape of the apple a little bit. Not perfectly, but enough that it looks a little bit more like an apple and a little less like a circle. And I like to have it a little bit wider than we need um, because we can actually use a clipping mask. We can make a clipping mask and trim off the sides. Um, 
we might get to that. We may not. It doesn't really matter. All right. That's almost ready to be uh, to be played with here. Looking pretty good. Just following that ship. That's that crooked line there. That's not good. All the lines should look pretty smooth, right? Because it's a smooth shape. If it were a bumpy shape, then I would want some crooked lines. But it's not really a bumpy shape. It's a smooth shape. So move that down a little. So yeah, we're tweaking some points. Oh my God, Mr. Ready, this is just like I was in the 3D, just like being back in Moto. This is horrible. I hate this. Eh, too bad. You know, you'll you'll get over it. It's a minor thing in life. This is how we learn. Uh, we this is how we experience new things and try new things, and uh, learn new powerful tools. Uh, understanding geometry and how things work. We're gonna understand how light and shadow work. Okay. I mean, this is. This is called learning and getting new knowledge. If everything was always easy or something you already knew how to do, it'd be pretty boring and you wouldn't actually learn anything new. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, that's pretty good. I think I need another row in here. I'm gonna go with my mesh tool. I'm gonna throw a curve in there. Um, we're gonna probably add some more for more color options later. So I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Uh, but now, I'm gonna go and I wanna start getting, so I'm just, remember if I just select this, I got those four points selected and I'm gonna to go to my eyedropper tool, I'm gonna to grab a color, um, that color red there, right? Now, it's underneath the apple so we can't really see it. So let me just grab it and we're gonna move it down. There it is. Let me unlock this apple and move this up and then relock it and then move it, go back to this guy. There we go. All right, so now I'm starting. I'm, now this is where it should be getting hopefully fun. Uh, I can see like this little, that we have some other colors here. So um, I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab like um, this area here, and an eyedropper tool and just kind of select in there. Oh, it's because I just had points, not space, not area, not space. Let's just grab, we'll grab that one and the eyedropper tool. I is the, the letter I on the keyboard is for the eyedropper tool. And so I'm just going to do this for now. Just grab that eyedropper tool and go up to that area and, and just, so I'm just grabbing color for now. We're going to get more color and more gradient as we go, depending on what we need here. All right, see what's happening. Um, we can get like all along the bottom here and grab like this color. And we can see that we're gonna need, we're gonna need more lines in this gradient mesh to follow all these funky colors. But that's all right, we will get there. Right here, that space there. And that's pretty light. If you hold your, if you ever, uh, if you're on the eyedropper tool and you hold your command key down, it'll turn briefly into the um, direct selection tool, and you can just grab an area and then fill. I'm gonna grab that area, fill it with that. Grab this area, kind of fill it with that color. Grab that. Oops. Grab, grab this area here. Eyedropper it there. Grab this guy at this point and just kind of replicating so you can kind of see what's happening I'll take this one over here get some of that over there until I get this whole thing filled I don't have these guys I'm holding my shift button down so I can select all those edges there, fill it with that grab up there Ish. Mm. 
you want to just make sure every point of this thing has been selected and has some color. All right, 